It's tooth extraction time for me today. And uh, I nearly didn't take my camera uh, unless I, until I was downstairs and I was thinking, hmm, actually, why don't I just take it, see if anything is happening, noteworthy, talk worthy. And uh, not that I can think of anything, but I just thought before the tooth extraction and before overtaking this big uh, lorry here, which I'm allowed to do now, very good. I thought I'm going to make a quick video about how I sound right now, how I look right now. Of course, with my two wisdom teeth still in here. If you have watched the previous video, one of my previous videos, in which I'm talking about the dentist story, then you know what this is all about. This is the appointment that I was lucky to get with Dr. Oliver up on 41st Street, the practice that covers him even though I've already had treatment with him in that practice, which did not cover him, it's one of those things. Yeah, so I'm kind of looking forward to it, which is bizarre, because over the last two months or so, my wisdom teeth here have been giving me a little bit of trouble, and it would be nice to, for that trouble to just go away. And, you know, it's just another annoyance that's been taken care of. It's, I think of it as the grown-up thing to do, Let's see if I think like that afterwards. And of course, what I sound like. I remember making a, a video uh, last year when that happened. And in fact, let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that now. Anyway, I'm gonna go into here now and have these two teeth removed. I'll speak to you afterwards. <laughs> Well, believe it or not, that was it already. Uh, I had a session with Francisco and that man's an artist. I didn't feel a thing, which was great. It makes a big difference to, um, well, you know, my previous, or my, my last tooth pulling experience. But he did say, uh, as soon as the anesthetics wear off, you will feel some pain. So go and get yourself some pain meds. Um, I'm using a leave. And he, she said, uh, take three or four of those today. So I'm going to take two now. And that way you avoid the pain when it kicks in. So very clever. Um, and then I'm going to have a little walk to CVS as well and back. I should avoid exercise for the next um, two days, which makes sense, I guess, because there are open wounds there. But um, other than that, that is really it. So, um, yeah. It was a phenomenal experience, I have to say. Great. That's an interesting one, right? So this is me coming out of the dentist. This is what I felt like then. This is what I sounded like then. And I'll, I'll see if uh, the experience is more or less the same a year later now that I'm no longer on cancer medication. And I'll, I'll, see, I'll see how I feel. Yes, speak to you afterwards. The injection part has happened, so we're now waiting for this all to kick in on here. It's getting numb, number and number by the second. I was watching uh, Keeping Up With The Kardashians on the TV in the treatment room. Very interesting. I've never seen that before. It's a bit confusing to me, because I don't know any of these people. But other than that, so this part already went well. Well, it looks like that was that. Another successful wisdom tooth extraction story there for me. And of course now my, my whole left side is numb and I've got this, this bit, big, of, big bit of white stuff in my mouth. Well, red probably now. Uh, but other than that, I'm going all fine. So no pain, no anything. We did have a little chat there about um, when I needed a little bit more of the good stuff. and it just went all so well i'm really glad i had that experience again and now all i need to wait is uh, do is wait and see when this numbness finishes stops and then we'll see we'll see how i feel then i will let you know